Brooklyn Daddy in the house. What is up for a... Noob Thursday. Who's it for? For noobs. That's right. One more time. Noob Thursdays. Haven't done this for a while. For noobs. For noobs. And I'm going to be featuring a replay from clanmate John Lawrence. That is Just My Heads, a.k.a. Jason's daughter. Hello, John Lawrence. She posted this awesome replay, and I just had to show it. It is a great example of using Hog Rider, Balloon, and Gobby Barrel. And she just does a great job. Let's get into it and talk through it a little bit. Now, admittedly, she is up against level 5. So there's that. <laughs> Sorry, John Lawrence. Had to point that out. But, uh... This is some really good combo play and a great Noob Thursday pro tip example of using cards together. Using cards that work really nicely together. Together. <laughs> We're getting a Trump alert here. You know what? I don't want to get any more of those. I don't want to think about Trump right now. Okay, so Witch, not much health. She's pretty much shut down, as was Larry. And now John Lawrence getting ready for the combo. Hog and Balloon, I think, right? And then the Gobby Barrel. Got a mini P.E.K.K.A. coming in hot. But look at this. Even with the Inferno Tower and the Skarmy, she rages it up. And look, Balloon still with health. It gets off. One. Two! And the Death Bomb, and the Hoggy Barrel, and that is Left Tower, my friends. Very nice, John Lawrence. Now, her towers are a little bit illin', but that was some great play. Let's watch her do it again. Let's watch her. I'm talking like Sean Connery. Getting ready, just itching for that balloon. Look at that. She's got her finger on the balloon trigger. Balloon and hog. Larry's going to try to stop it. And again with the rage. Very nice combo. Hog, balloon, and in comes the goblin barrel. FT dubs. Death bomb. Stab. And that's it. That was a fast one. Way to go, John Lawrence. Very nice. So that is just an awesome example of using cards together very nicely. Well played. So I'm going to show two replays to polish off this noob Thursday. Oh, I have to say, I'm at over 3,400 with my free-to-play account, which is my highest. Well, my absolute highest was 3,438, but I lost one. But yeah, I am loving what I'm calling Nightbow, which is the Night Witch and the Expo together. I got the Night Witch in a golden chest on my free-to-play, which I was thrilled about, and I love her. She is a great card, and I take back everything I said dissing on the Night Witch when I was saying she was the worst legendary and down there with Sparky and all this nonsense. She's really good. She's re Newsflash, the Night Witch is really good. Write that down. So I've been having a ton of fun playing with this deck too. And it's funny, it's sort of the opposite from my pay to play account in which I'm doing this mortar, very fast mortar cycle deck. It's three average elixir cost. And it's, it's fun and occasionally I can get it to work. I would say like 25% of the time. I find I'm usually tying or losing. But when I do get a win, it feels really good. And I do get to use the... Which, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, is my favorite legendary. But I want to show you two replays. One in particular in which I took down a level 11. First, I'm going to show you me getting a sort of aggro on OMG of the Heroes V5. Now this, I don't know, sometimes you're playing, you just can't help but get a little salty but it's all in good fun isn't it okay so we've got level 12 e-barbs coming in hot I'll tell you something I say it all the time e-barbs are just 
easy to deal with. They can, they can definitely shut down a tower if they make it, but I find if you're going to use them, they're way more effective on defense. And then maybe you can turn it into some sort of offensive push. But just, just like trying to surprise somebody, I mean, unless the other player has absolutely no elixir. The e-barbs, I don't know, they're easy to distract and, you know, they don't attack that quickly. Yeah. It's also similar to Royal Giant, I feel like it's just kind of a cheap card. You know how some cards just feel kind of cheap? I don't know, that's my opinion. So now we're going to get a little X-Bow going with Mega Minion Force support. Oh, I just love the sound of that X-Bow and the Night Witch with her little bats. Look at them. And it's so great when those bats get ignored. Look at that. Look at the damage those little bats are doing. Awesome. So at this point, no damage has been done to me. So I'm just going to sit back and defend. Wizard is going to do a little something on that left tower, but not much. And Pakasta, Ice Wizard, shut down. Mega. Mega gets a little work done on the left tower. And here they come again. You know, you tried it once. I guess try it again. I don't know. Not really working for you. Those little bats. Love those bats. Ice Wiz taken out by the knight, and here comes a little nice little attack squadron on the left hammer. Sorry, Prince. Sorry, everything. Now look at this. Watch the bats. Just look at one of those bats. Eh, 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 just jabbing away. And that is almost left tower. Don't waste elixir, kitties. Hate it when I waste elixir. So, here we are. Sitting pretty. Now, I think, is when I start to get a little bit aggro, doing some laughing. Sitting proudly behind my expo and tombstone. Nobody's getting through. Nobody's getting through. Even the Moina. I'm going to drop a Night Witch on you. Bam, bam, bam. That's it. All right. What's the end of that one? And finally, I am going to show you. Oh, and I should say, I can't really see if the camera can see this. I'm wearing my MS-51 shirt. Anybody who is going to MS-51 or went to MS-51 who is watching this video, you gotta comment. Just say, you know, MS-51 in the house. Say something embarrassing, please. So finally, shut down a level 11. And I am a lowly level 10 on my free to play. Up against Chow Brian of a Korean clan, it looks like. All right, get the night going. Wasting elixir. Don't waste elixir, kitties over there, Chow Brian. What are you doing? Can't decide. Just too horrified by those level 9 bats coming out of my Night Witch. Bow. Bats cleaning up those skellies. That's worth zapping. And now what comes next? Probably an Expo. Get a Mega going and then an Expo. So we've got an Elixir Advantage here. About two and a half. And look at this. I love when that you're watching that clock and you're thinking, are we going to lock onto the tower? Yes, locked on. Moina's going to try to do his little sneaky thing, but eh -eh. Doing some fine work on that giant, too. Makes me so happy. And look at that. The right tower down to nine, hundy. Giant's getting nowhere. Sit back and save our Alexa. Showtime. Fire. All right, sneaky wizard. Throwing your fireballs over the river. 
I always have to do that at least once when I'm using the Night Witch. Ooh. Just so much damage at that little poker. Staff. What is it? A staff? Zap. Wish I had. I mean, I want to on my free to play, but I don't. Oh, that is scary. Look at that. Mashallah, oh, boy. That's a lot of spread out individual beef. Don't waste electric kitties. Come on, Brooklyn. Doesn't matter if you're winning, there's no excuse for washed in Alexa. Expo doing some quality work on that giant. He's going nowhere. Bye bye, miner. I can't remember if we go for a second crown. I think there's just a just one crown. Yep. That's it. So long, Chow Brian. Chow, Chow Brian. <laughs> that is it. I gotta say, well, I definitely have to say hello to Miss Suzuki, new follower. Thank you very much for the follow. She's got a great stream on Twitch. I would link to it if I could, but they don't let you do a, a link. For a URL, it has to be something that's, like, connected to you. If she had a YouTube channel, I could do that. But anyway, check her out on Twitch. Great stream. Hi, Azuki. So, that is it. The basic take-home message is use cards that work nicely together. And you can see that John Lawrence really uh, is capitalizing on that combo. And when you get a good combo like that that's working for you, just keep using it. You notice how she did Balloon, Hog, Rage, Gobby Barrel. Great combo and tough to stop. So that's it for a Noob Thursday. If you have any questions, especially all you noobs watching, any questions, uh, ideas, concepts that you want me to go over in next week's Noob Thursdays for noobs, let me know. Comment. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Brooklyn Daddy!